Welcome to AMD Tuition. For those of you who are unfamiliar with myself, I'm a dental student and the head tutor of AMD Tuition. I have researched all the papers and come up with three questions that I think are very likely to come up in this year's GCSE Biology Paper 1. I have also collated the mark schemes and I'll give you point by point some of the things you need to learn for these questions. Firstly, based on the research, I think a question about respiration, specifically aerobic or anaerobic respiration, could come up in this paper. Make sure that you are aware of and make a note of the equations and the definitions which are on the screen now. They could directly ask you about any of these in a one mark question or this could be the first one or two points of a six mark question if you had to kind of compare and contrast anaerobic and aerobic respiration. Another question that they could directly ask you would be to explain something like why is anaerobic respiration only for a short period of time? This could come up as a two or three mark question and my answer for this would be that muscles become fatigued and stop contracting and therefore they do not have enough energy to be released to continue. I would probably also add that lactic acid is built up during this process. The next topic that I think could come up is communicable diseases. And as usual, make sure you know the definition of this and also know the processes involved in this topic. For example, how a vaccine is made and how it works and also the entry of pathogens and how it causes disease. I think that the vaccine question is a bit obvious, so I think potentially they could go for the entry of pathogens that cause disease. And this could come up as a four or a six mark question potentially, so if that was the case, make sure to split your answer up. I would do it in terms of eyes, skin, breathing system, and also the stomach. And I'll put some points on here that you can take a note of and learn for your revision. Another topic that I think could come up is metabolism. And remember the definition of metabolism is all of the chemical reactions in the body cells that change food into energy. So learn this definition. Two examples of metabolism that I think is very important to learn is that amino acids are used to make proteins and also that glucose is converted into glycogen and glucose is also broken down in respiration. They could also ask you about the importance of this process. So you could say that glycogen is a store of glucose and it can be used for your muscles during respiration. And also that energy is released by respiration in cells to be used for further metabolic reactions. And in terms of amino acids, they're important on their own. So make sure you study them individually as well in such as the enzyme topic. But in terms of this, why are enzymes needed? They're needed to make proteins and proteins. Some examples of these could be hemoglobin, antibodies, hormones, catalysts and there are so many more that you could list. Remember that these are just predictions so still make sure to revise every single aspect of your content and you can use this video and all of my other videos to supplement your revision. And remember I've only gone over three small topics that I think could come up so if you like a part two on this or want me to go over paper two and the chemistry physics versions of these videos as well make sure to like and subscribe. As usual the link is in the video description to book a free one-to-one -one taste lesson with my team of tutors and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.